Okay, gonna start this episode, gonna call Kumbo on Skype so we can do this dang episode, okay? This is a bit of an off the cuff thing, that's why I'm calling him right now, okay? Uh, just gonna go on Skype. Um. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, he's dead, he's dying. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh my god, who is this man? Hey, crackle, dude. I'm 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 literally calling the police. <laughs> Came out of my closet. I'm frightened. So, uh, hi. Cool. I've been living in your closet for a while, dude. I, I, you, you gotta keep better track of this shit. Seriously. You, what, why do you have? Oh, oh. I guess it always been there. I can't. Like, I swear to God, last night, when I was sleeping in there, the it was not there, okay? It was demonic, dude. It's, it's just right there. So anyway, <laughs> what, okay. you, what you doing, boy? I'm gonna record an episode, dude. Well, fuck yeah, let me be in it. I got nothing okay. bad to do. Okay. Red V here, here then. Man, not sure what's it. <laughs> Seriously, dude, you got, you got, you got spooky shit in there. There's calm all over. There's calm over my clothes. <laughs> So that was our hilarious comedy routine. Kumble is here, in fact. Hi, hello. God damn it! I am Kumble. I I I draw things. He does draw things. I draw things. That's all I'm good at. He's good at hiding closets too. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! This is so by the way, you are doing the thing with the sleep cat, sleep cabin. Yes, I am. Sleep cast. You. Uh, I don't know what else this boy. Sponge factory guy. <laughs> Sponge factory boy. Okay, I, I don't know why I decided to make this face into Forky. Yeah. Okay, so, this is, this is fucking weird. Okay. So yes, um, maybe we'll do more of this if this goes well. Yes. If more no. of me hiding in your closet. I, I watch you when you sleep. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. So does the fucking creepy King Crimson face. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, we can. You see I, it right there? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, basically, my life is is it's a strange life. It's a strange life of me sneaking up on you when you least expect it. I actually haven't been okay in real though. I haven't been here for like three years. I think that I don't. I think and this is not me exaggerating. I think the last time was when we filmed the. Uh, Crickle and Kumbo's Cool Adventures in Super Mario Galaxy. Oh my god, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Show a clip of it right now, future Crackle. Oh. oh yeah, I should probably close down some other shit. Oh yeah. Close down all this. <laughs> Fucking get rid of it. Quit Skype. There's, Quit no, there's no cool people online right now. It would've yeah. been fun if uh, it would've been... I had a fun idea of I would creep up on the, while you were doing a call with someone yeah. instead. But uh, since no one's online, we can't do that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> this is fucking weird. It is. So. So, how's your life? My life is okay. I'm actually animating right now, if you can't can guess. Oh, really? I, I don't like the flash lines, okay? Yeah, I mean, I I actually stopped using flash now. Yeah. I've been using flash in our, our program for, like, yeah. a couple of years. Uh, yeah, you did some fucking amazing shit using, like, a broken line tool. <laughs> I managed to do some yeah, really you really right stuff, but eventually I realized, oh my god, I can... Because when I started doing like bigger things, it would lag a lot. 
Oh yeah, and f yeah, it I would freeze a lot, and it's like whenever I push Control C, I have to wait for like fucking ten fucking second, like a minute tops five minutes before I could do anything else. Dude, I was fucking scared for you when you were when you did that huge background thing because mm. I had I did a thing for the N word video <laughs> where it was it was fucking I did the whole background uh, towards the end. With the cars in the background, and I did yeah. it all in Flash. I did like this huge thing, where, like I had a bunch of effects and shit. And I was like, "Wow, this looks cool." Then I opened the, the thing, and it was it was straight up just corrupted. Oh, yeah. So I had to do it again and fucking sigh. The end. Dude, okay, so <clears throat> I also had this Asgard thing, and I was doing like a hundred special f thing for it. Yeah. Drawing, and it was a pretty big drawing, and that's when I that was like when I eventually. Well, I was almost done with it. It would take me like five minutes before I, when I press Control C, I had to wait for like five minutes before I could start working again. By that time, I fucking walked around my fucking house, <laughs> just to see if it was had did the thing. Yeah. Eventually, I was like, okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna put this shit in Medibang and just finish there. Oh yeah. And that's what I'm using now. I'm using Medibang Paint Pro. I think it was yeah. that was called. This is not a commercial thing. It's just a pretty good art program. Is it free? Yeah, it's free. I'm actually trying. Yeah. Hey. Although hey. I haven't tried Sai, so I don't really know if it's better. Um, Sai is pretty neat, but it, yeah. Metaband could be better. I don't know. Who knows? I heard a lot of people say it's better. Yeah. The one thing I hate about Sai is the fact that it doesn't have a fucking text tool. It's stupid. Uh, Metaband has a text tool, but it's not as good as, like... One thing I'm gonna miss about Flash is that it's had a really fucking good, like... Like text, you could edit text real, pretty well. Yeah, it had a good interface. You a lot of, yeah, you could do a lot of neat old stuff. Yeah. I can't do it in Medivane. Yep. Eh. This is fucking weird. Like, for example, most of the logos I made, I made in. Actually, you know what? Yeah, all of my logos I made have uh, been in Flash. Yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoy making logos. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. As seen by the trademark new. Okay, I'm just <laughs> Oh yeah, you made a T-shirt. Yeah, which is fucking, dude. It's, it's a weird thing. So for all the all the years, I was like, uh, should I do it? It would be too much effort. But actually, literally, all you do is just go into the thing, you insert the picture, you insert where you want to place and shit like that, and then you literally don't need to do anything. They just like they uh, they make the shirt, and then they take a bit like a part of. What did you use? Like Redbubble? Or... Yeah, Redbubble. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking of using Redbubble for a lot of stuff. Yeah. It is a little, like, fucking shady with the stealing offer, but I really don't care. I just want I just want it out there because other things are, like, much more complicated. Yeah, Redbubble, I've heard, is pretty fucking simple. Yeah, it is very simple. So look forward to that, to good old Kumbo merchandise. I, dude, I would fucking buy a shirt from you. I think that would be neat. I could come up with some pretty good shirt designs, actually. Yeah. I should try it by drawing with, like, texture pens on my shirt. It would probably be pretty, pretty okay. Yeah. I also got some back. I actually got my good old punk jacket. Oh yeah, that, that sticker thing. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it all over here. I'll put it on. There we go. Yeah. Yes, we got this big old thing. Ah, yeah. Can you see it? See it? In? Yeah. I'm, I'm zooming. Here we go. Oh yeah, the thing I painted. Yeah. So yeah, I can do that shit. Yes. Maybe I could like. Maybe if I go to a con and set up a booth, I could sell a couple of those. Yeah, though they are, they don't have any good cons in Sweden. I don't know, Sweden is... No, it doesn't have uh, many good cons. That's why I'm probably gonna do... S like, the closest cons that I would go to probably be, like, Comic-Con in London or whatever. Oh, yeah, London is fucking... It's not far. It literally took an hour with plane. Yeah, that's why I think yeah. I'm probably gonna go there if I'm gonna go to some big old cons. I wanna go to London again because I wanna see uh, the Animals Pink Floyd cover. That mm. was one thing I didn't see, that factory. Yeah, we should go to fucking London together sometime. Yeah, that'd be neat. I wanna meet some pals. Yes. That other, I have there. Other people in London? Neat. Yeah, I, I know some people from London. Neat shit. From England, at least. Yep. Yeah, but London is a tiring place, I will say that, but that's because I hate big cities. I, I, I kind of enjoy big cities, actually. Well, here's the thing, I enjoy them, like, uh, here's the thing, when, I, when I'm in a big city, I'm like, I have so much fun the first few hours, I'm like, wow, this is so much fun, but then when I want to get home, I'm like, oh god, I just want to get to the hotel, Jesus Christ, I'm Oh like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. But, oh yeah, London was fun, going to fucking Abbey Road was surreal. This is, I don't think you've, like, physically watched me animate since school. 
No, I, I, I used not. to do them during fucking breaks. Oh yeah. Yeah. You would breaks. get your soda pops at the store. <laughs> I was not a healthy person. I, I'm not saying I'm very healthy now. I'm just saying. I'm not <laughs> a very social person either. Oh yeah, I'm definitely becoming more social as I go. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I. I noticed that with me too. <laughs> I've been talking. I've been. Mean, I, I remember like at the fucking first year of uh, what. Well, well, yeah, it's basically high school I'm going to. Yeah, it is high school. Yeah, it's high school. Yeah. Uh, yeah, first year of high school, I was like, I was so fucking nervous and scared. Yeah. Like, the first day, I was so fucking nervous. I could not talk to anyone. Yeah. And I really open up a lot more now. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to do that more. I'm because sorry. I was thinking, like, okay, I'm not going to have any fun if I just keep on being all silent and quiet all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. And also, I like, stop caring what people think of me. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that's fucking hard to do. Like, you gotta, it's it's hard to let go of all of that. But yeah, it's like you gotta realize, like, okay, if I'm gonna be myself now, and if people don't like it, well, they're basically not the kind of people I want to be with anyway. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. That was just the lesson of the day, kiddies. Lesson of life lessons from Co Uncle Kumbo boy. Oh boy, here's another life lesson. Don't. Yes, don't. <laughs> don't. Don't let. No. <laughs> okay. Oh. God. Eh. Kids don't do drugs. Except pot. pot. Pot's not that bad, I've heard. Do all the drugs at once. <laughs> <laughs> do all of them. Become the new Aussie. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, fucking. He, his life is fascinating because he took so many drugs. Like, he is. He should be dead like 10 times over. Jesus. Much like me. I gotta watch that show he did on History Channel with... Oh, so, yeah. yeah. With Jack Arsborn. Yeah. That seems neat. Mm. Yes. No, well, Arsborn's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on with him. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Black Sabbath are doing their final tour. Oh, yeah. That's... That's neat. A, f a thing I'm never gonna fucking see. Wow. Well, yeah, me neither, sadly. It's kind of depressing. Yeah. But at least there'll be some cover bands. Oh, yeah. There's some pretty good, like, I saw, I saw a Led Zeppelin tribute band that was really fucking good. Yeah. Also, there's some pr really fucking good Pink Floyd uh, tribute bands. We did not see one of them a few um, a month ago. That was not one of the better ones. <laughs> no. That was actually, our, our town has an actual, like, official Pink Floyd cover band. Yeah. And it's okay, but there's a, a cover band called P. Floyd. Yeah. They are so much better. Yeah. They are fucking incredible. Yeah, they, they seem way better because they play a lot of obscure songs and shit. Oh yeah, they play a lot of like, old stuff. Yeah. Eh. Like back with Sid Barrett. Yeah. That is neat. Yeah. I would want them. They do a really fucking good job. Yes. Eh. So next time they're in town, you gotta see them, boy. I will. I'll do the thing, okay? You do the thing. Okay, so let's let's think, talk about new shows, okay? New shows. Okay, so the newest show I've seen was one that I just I saw on, on a whim on the front page of Kiss Cartoons, and I was like, this looks interesting. And it was the how was it? The fucking what was it? The Milo something something. Milo. The Milo Murphy Fairy or something like that. It's a new show where the main character is played by Weird Al. Oh and, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, and it's it has some good moments, but it's very I don't know, I don't I don't really care for it. Though so maybe it'll get better. I don't know. The style of it looks like it wasn't it like from the same same people from as uh, Phoenix and Ferb? Yeah, probably. It looks like it has the same style. Yeah. A show that I uh been watching a lot lately that it's not a new show. Yes. Uh, the Amazing World of uh, Gumball. <laughs> Yeah, fuck, I need to watch that. It's it's really fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, it seems it seems, it seems neat. Yeah. I've seen it. It looks really good, I know that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Also, I said, uh, while I was, uh, last night, I was, me and my dad was gonna get some pizza. Yeah. And on TV, they played the Cartoon Network, and the, it was Clarence, that show. Oh, yeah, Clarence. Yeah, I, it looked okay. I like Clarence, though I don't like the creator. I'll Why? tell you that. Why? <laughs> he sexually harassed someone and went to fucking prison. Is, are you for real? I am for real. 
Holy shit! I mean, we've all done it, but come on, look. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously, he, he said fucking sexually harassed someone went to prison. It was fucked up. Holy crap! I don't I don't know what happened to the show, actually. I like I watched the first few episodes of season one, and I didn't... I didn't even know if it was going to continue because he went to fucking prison. Jesus But I assume they probably have a lot of season two done, so they're just like, yeah, fucking just... Put it on you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. I don't know, I like, I haven't heard about any, there was some new f- show on Cartoon Network about, I don't know, heroes or something? Yeah. Fantasy stuff? Yeah. I've, I haven't heard much of it, but what I've heard from it is not, uh, it's not good. Yeah. I, I'm very, I'm still very conflicted about The Loud House, because it has really good episodes, but then... The last few ones have been just so painfully generic. Yeah, I'd watch the latest ones. I should probably do that. Like there was one where it was basically just like fucking Lincoln and the, 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 what's this? The black one. <laughs> 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 I'm a horrible person, but uh, you mean Clyde? Yeah, Lincoln and Clyde. They were going fucking camping, and they were basically. I think his just... name was Clyde. I can't. Remember. Yeah, it was Clyde, right? Yeah, I yeah, I was him. Okay, yeah, they fucking went camping. I mean, it, it, it was one of those episodes that just, like, had had the most blatant, like, you know what the moral's gonna be five seconds in, and then the entire episode's just arguously getting to it. Ah, uh, yeah. And like, it's... most of them, the latest episodes of MP. Yep. Oh, boy. Mm. It's not fun. <laughs> like, I praised it a couple of, uh, uh, weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Because, uh, we watched some episodes, and oh, we actually God. pretty okay. Yeah. Oh, it was great. Yeah. But then, after that, oh jeez, he got back to the yeah. generic, like, thing. Oh, my dang horse show back, except not, I don't really, I honestly don't really Aren't you care. looking forward to Legends of Everfree? The new Equestrian I, Girls movie? I actually am in a fucked up way, just because I enjoy <laughs> yeah, because... watching them and making fun. <laughs> I don't know. Like, fucking, okay. Elfie has become such a big old part of, like, what I do, in some way. Like, not a huge part, but... My fucking mod character is still a fucking horse. Yeah. So, you know, it still hasn't disappeared. Yes. Because I think it's like the first big fandom I actually got into. Oh yeah, we got hella into that. And we were, oh, we, we were, were cringy the... to the max. <laughs> That's the thing. There's something that I think about and I, it still makes me cringe hard when I think about it. It's like, it ruined our entire time at school where early on, in oh, 2012, yeah. we did a thing where we went oh, into the... Oh, fuck my life. Okay, so the school had a group, or our class had a, like, a Facebook group where we would just post, like, updates. You're like, oh, to the next week we're gonna go kill people, but... Okay. <laughs> we... We we thought it was a funny idea because we were very cringy boys that... To, to we go... were tired, we were on Skype, we had drank a lot of soda. Yes, and we decided it would be funny to spam a pony reaction pictures onto the fucking... Page timeline and th- and then we were, we left after that. We were like kamikaze motherfucker, <laughs> and, and, uh, and we it, were like, ah, this is like fortune. <laughs> yeah, and th- every meeting, every class meeting, they were like, oh yeah, so we're all getting get the information in the group, and they're like, well, they're not part of the group, and we're sitting at the back, and we're like, uh, mm, like we know what we did, like uh, we were oh, no the worst. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we all sat there in shame. The worst part was when the teacher was like, why are they not in the group? We don't want to talk about it. Oh, God. We did something we regret. Yep. We killed people. <laughs> yep. we killed people and posted pictures. That, that's what it was. That would have been less cringy. <laughs> it would have been a little mean, but it would... Yeah. <laughs> okay. God. Yeah. Uh. So, if you want to punch past us, that... Sorry, you can't do that. I won't stop you, though. Yeah. Eh. Past me was a cringy little boy. Yes, we used to do Frigilarious LMP commentaries, as we all know. Oh yeah, so we talked about it before. Yep. Maybe. And it was fun. Yeah. Fun, yeah. Love has an episode, and maybe one day I'll just see all the... If enough people want to, we'll find some way to release it. You could. You'll finish your tumble where you're like, if this post gets this amount of things, I will fucking release the, cr- the cringy fucking commentary we did in 2012. Even when I get 2,000 followers. Yeah. No, so uh, yeah, get yeah. on that. Get on that. <laughs> it's your, it's your thing. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Gorillas Mark IV. Uh, phase 4. Oh yeah, Phase 4. Gorillas Phase 4. I am... Oh my god. They, I know what they're doing mm. on social media. Just they've been going oh, yeah, through all the things. Yeah, they posted like, a bunch of like old stuff. Yeah, like the they the, they did this thing where they were like phase one and they posted like the twenty these were and mm-hmm. then they did phase two and like they did phase three and it's been silent for a while. I know what they're gonna do. And Eventually, it's coming. Yeah. It's fucking coming. Yeah, I was really fucking looking forward to it. I'm gonna do technical surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Oh yeah, I I I drew the uh, nerd faggot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put it on Oh yeah, faggot nerd. A faggot nerd. Oh god. The (laughs) sorry, I found that fucking hilarious. Yeah, just it's it's in essence what Donald Trump is doing. (laughs) He's basically just go. If he went to the UN, he would just go up and he'll be like. Um, you loser. <laughs> surprisingly, he surprisingly hasn't done that to Hillary yet because he's yeah. a shaking shit little bitch. <laughs> um, <I can't. laughs> oh god. Okay. Hillary Clinton should be the one who's like, who's like, <laughs> like Donald Trump say, uh, Donald Trump says a thing, and then she's like, um, nerd faggot. <laughs> oh god. That, that's, that's how it should be. <laughs> okay. Speaking of politics, boy, are they fun. <laughs> they are so much fun. I can't wait for destruction. <laughs> I sure can't wait for Don- Mr. Donald Trump's key to blow up the world. Can't wait for Countdown to Extinction. Haha. <laughs> 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 can't wait for us all to rust in peace. Oh boy. Megadeth. <laughs> Megadeth. I like Megadeth. But I don't like their <laughs> um, it's, it's a little weird. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Also, Metallica is coming back. Oh my god, I am... My inner 12-year-old is literally fucking exploding right now. Because Metallica is totally my nostalgic, like, first band I got really into. But yeah. I fucking... Do you remember how I was fucking... Oh yeah, I up? remember. And... I, okay, here's the thing, I think Hardwired was okay, but it wasn't anything special. Mouth Into Flame was like, yes, they are back, I just want to come a little. Because <laughs> it, it started, they knew what they were doing, it started with fucking the Ride the Lightning guitar sound, where it's the really, like, high pitch sound. Oh yeah, they were going, yeah, they're basically going back to, like, the old stuff. Yeah. I, God, it's making me come just a little bit. Oh god. Yeah. Like, I, what? Can you? Like, I think I can list like the bands, the like the bands who you like really got into because. Okay, can you do it in order? In order. Okay, first it was Metallica, right? Yes, that is correct. And then I think it was the Beatles. No, it was actually. That, I, I could see why you think that, but it, that was like a brief thing. That was not like the thing. It was like I heard a few songs. And I saw that they were not Spotify, so I was just like, I'm not gonna bother. Mm. Yeah, but uh, what was the one after that, Kumbo? After that, I would... See, so yeah, I'm guessing it would be Pink Floyd. That is correct. Yes. And then it was the Beatles. No, it was actually Black Sabbath. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. I, there was a period where I was really into them. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then it was the Beatles. Yes. Yes. And then the Kinks? That is correct, yes. Yes. I, yeah. And then uh, it was uh, Daddy Cletus. Yes. Daddy, Daddy Claypool. <laughs> oh yeah, Daddy Claypool. <laughs> Daddy Claypool. <laughs> oh. oh my god, Owen's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, Primus is my new thing. Primus <laughs> is literally my top ten favorite bands ever. I think you would fucking come over. I listened to some of it, uh, you remember? Yeah. I don't know, for some reason I can't really get into it. See, here's, here's, and this is, this is not me trying to, uh, trying to be like, uh, this is not me trying to justify like uh, it. Let's like saying you like everyone who dislikes it will like it. But here's this is how the every person you know and uh, talk to where you listen to one song or two of Primus, you're like, okay, this one was okay, I guess. But then somebody, but then you listen to an album and you're like, that was okay, I guess. But it's it's this insanely gradual thing, and then you're like, holy shit, I'm coming just a little bit. I I'll, I'll recommend you a few songs, and I think you will. I think you will like them. Okay. 
Yeah. Can you list the bands that I've been crazy fucking into? I will try. Okay. Mm. So I remember when I first when I first talked to you, you had this weird thing for like Irish uh Irish folk music, yeah. Yes. Irish folk music. Because my dad plays a lot of Irish folk music. Yes, yeah. I don't know. Irish folk music is new. Yeah. yeah. Like the Pogues, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then I think you then I think we started kind of sharing somewhat similar music tastes. We yeah. we had some similar things for a bit, and then you got you got very much into like uh like forties music and like oh yeah jazz and yeah, swing and stuff jazz and swing, yeah. and after that it was your big metal thing, I think. Mm, I think it before that it was electro swing. That's when oh, I got fuck. really into Kevin. Oh Palace. my god, we both got into dumpster at some point. Oh my god, time. yeah, dumpster. <laughs> Yeah. That was actually the times of the bro the big old cringy bro brony times. <laughs> I, oh god, there was a time when we, I was... we really got into dubstep, especially brony dubstep things. Oh my god, I think that was the only kind of dubstep I listened to. It's cringy. Yeah. To Though, there was a time when I genuinely listened to Skrillex on I One. <laughs> it hurts me just a little bit to admit that. And now I'm like, I'm not that big into it anymore. Yeah, he, here's the thing with dubstep. It's just, it's. <laughs> Sounds, yeah. Is this one of our genres that's like really shallow? It's like okay, it's made up of wub wub sounds. There you go. You can't make much of that. It's yeah, like... it's like, yeah, yeah. It's it doesn't have much mileage. Mm. By the way, after the big old uh, dubstep and electro swings, mm. I think that was yeah. You're right. It was like when I really got into metal. Yes, and especially, especially old eighties metal. Yes, Megadeth. Megadeth, uh, like also like all like uh, new wave of British metal, like Iron Maiden, oh, Saxon, yeah. playing. <clears throat> and I think I think during that you start developing your motor motorhead thing. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. That was when I realized that after that, it's like for a while it was like then I really got into like Motorhead. Yeah. And it became my one of my my second favorite band. Yes. And then they came the face that I'm still fucking in and yep. won't leave. Yep, I have one of those. Mm -hmm. Can you name what that is? What? That face that I that's still going on to this day. Motorhead. Punk. Oh yeah, yeah. The punk is like the one that you got into. Then, yes. And it just stuck with me. Yes. You know, I no why it's just. I'm sorry, that's the one that really just fucking stuck me. I cannot leave it. Yeah. Punk is neat. You know what? Yes. I, I really fucking the Clash. I am a big fan of the Clash. I oh, will yeah. say that. For example. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. That thing. You have the thing that I really want. Yes. I have the, the Clash. The Clash first album. Yeah. The fucking. And it only vinyl. costed like fucking nineteen dollars. Fucker. <laughs> yeah. I want this. Yep. <laughs> I was there. I was looking. F I was actually there like. Uh, oh, I, I thought you were the one who bought the sand and Easter thing. No, I wasn't. I was looking through there and it, there was no clash at all. God damn it. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, wait, they had like some old Sex Pistols stuff. Uh, no. You're like mm. behind the counter. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh yeah, they did have the... Didn't they have the original fucking God Save the Queen thing? No, no, no. They had like the Anarchy Tour live album thing. Yeah. The, the behind the counter would have some cool shit there. Yeah. The God Save the Thing, uh, Save Queen, uh, God Save the Queen thing is actually really fucking rare. It is indeed. That's that's why I thought it was that was the one because they put really rare shit there. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Go. <sighs> but yes, and now my f number one favorite band is the Clash. Yes. Clash is my favorite because they fucking they uh they started out as a very like raw punk band and i i really liked that face that was a cool face oh yeah they, but they all they did they changed so much it was cool yeah and, like they did that real they did a lot of good shit with the the punk stuff yeah by mixing in like uh by with paul who play a lot of like jamaican jazz uh jamaican bass yeah with police and thieves for example and white man hamster palace yeah it was neat and like i think Sandinista is like, oh, that it's, was... it's the, definitely the most experimental thing. Yeah, they just did fucking everything. I think it's the one I respect the most, but probably still my favorite is the first one, just because 
when I put it on, I want to fucking kick tables and kill people. <laughs> <laughs> that's punk for you, man. Yeah. That's why I love it so much. It just it fucking gives you so much goddamn energy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. What other fucking punk bands do I really fight? Like, my number one favorite punk band is The Clash, definitely. Yeah. But I'm not sure what's my second one. It's probably Fiddler. Shit. I, I don't know if I've listened to Fiddler. You should. It's real fucking good. I also known as Fuck It Dog, Life's a Risk. Huh. It's still my favorite, one of my favorite band names. God. <laughs> oh. Cool thing is, they're actually, pre they're actually pretty like, I don't know exactly when they started, but I think it was like 2009? 2007, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I, I've definitely gone more into, uh, I've definitely delved del more into modern music recently. I've been like, yeah, the music didn't really go to shit, there were still a lot of good bands. Yeah. Though so in in general, I would still you know. Okay, here's here's a, here's a question for you. What is your favorite favorite uh, d like um your favorite era? Like is this, you know? Ooh, that's a hard question. Um, I I think it might be. It's either like seven. Oh God, I can't decide. Fuck. You know, here's an even harder question. Try to list them from best to worst. Oh my uh, god. From from the from the sixties, let's say that. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say okay, from best to worst. Okay, I'll probably have to start with Probably gonna have to start with the seventies. Yes. Because that's when a lot of really good shit came out. Yes. Some of fun cool. Yeah, because that's when like of course the start of punk. Yeah. And you know, <clears throat> prog rock was fucking boom. Yeah. Oh yeah, fucking Rush. Yeah. Was that early, late sixties? I mean. Um, Rush was no Rush was purely seventies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also there was a lot of good reggae then and ska. Oh yeah, ska had its beginnings. Yeah. yeah. I still think that the Kings had one of some of the first ska songs ever made. Really. They, like they have. Some of their late 60s stuff, they started incorporating, like, a lot of horns in weird ways, and it, it sounds really good in the same way Ska does. Yeah. Well, also, I think Ska has actually been around for, since, like, the 40s, yeah. 30s, but it's real. it really got, like, huge in, like, because of when in England with the specials and madness. Yeah. Stuff like that. Anyway, um, number two, then, like, from best world, number two best would probably be, probably the 80s, actually. Yeah. Actually, no. No, actually... No, actually, you know, it's 60s. 60s. Good boy. <laughs> made a good choice, I won't kill you. <laughs> no. Yeah, but yeah, 60s, because there's a... Then we got, you know, Jimi Hendrix, yeah, Slopeland. Yes. All the good shit. Both died the same year. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yes. Yeah, also, uh, for some reason, I really fucking enjoy, like... Old surf rock and like oh, yeah. old garage mod rock. Yeah, there's some really good shit there. Indeed. Yeah, and uh, then then it's the eighties. Yes, for me because there's a lot of he good heavy metal. What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Something's. It's, there's it's... another person in there. Owen. Owen is in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But anyway, yeah, but the eighties. What the fuck? I think he's on the other side. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the eighties, um, there was a lot of really good punk then, like American oh, punk, yeah. like Dead Kennedys, Minor Threat, Black Flag, Kennedy, Circle yeah. Jerks, The Germs. Yes. Stuff like that. It's not good to know, like our man. And God damn, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they can hear it, but there's a lot. It's like clicking and clacking over here. Clicking. <laughs> fuck off! I don't know, is it the pipes or. Hold on. I'm gonna close this door. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Oh, where was I? Oh yeah, music. Um, so after, also another thing about the eighties. I don't. I know you probably don't like it, but I actually have gone into some eighties pop music. 
Uh, I've I've gotten less hard on it. I wouldn't kick it off a cliff if it came close to me. <laughs> oh, but I like some of it, like yeah. minutes, yeah. Uh, like minutes work and stuff like that. Yeah, I definitely don't hate it as much as I used to. Yeah. Oh, something just gives, just makes you feel good. Yeah. Oh, in some strange way. Yeah. It has this charm for some reason. Yeah. To me. <laughs> Um, let's see, and after the 80s, probably have to go with, uh, I'm sure I have, like, 50s or 40s. Um, I don't know. I, I think we should only do from 60s forward. Okay, well, in that case, I think that's probably my list. Wait, so you don't have anything for the 90s and 2000s, 2010s? To be honest, not a whole lot. Okay. Because I'm not that huge into grunge, actually. I don't like grunge either. Yeah. And, yeah. And now there was, there was not a lot of good punk bands during the 90s, I think. It was mostly like the pop punk stuff. Green Day was... Oh, yeah. Green Day was okay, I guess. But uh, stuff Day. like Fall Boy and Blink-182. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's not good. Okay. So here's my list. Number one for me uh, would be the 60s. Yeah, because, obviously. Yeah, because fucking... Here's a list of bands that began in the 60s. The Beatles, Pink Floyd, The Kinks, uh, The Doors, uh, let's see here. Pretty, like, the hundreds of, Yeah, The Who, like, Rolling hundreds Stones. of bands. Yeah, like, it was a crazy influential era. And a lot of pol good political shit, whatever, okay. The Red Diamond, f Red King face. Oh yeah, King Cr yeah, King Crimson. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, number two, I would say, is the seventies because of what you said is like cool shit. Yeah. Yes. A lot of cool shit with punk and funk and reggae and shit. Oh yeah, and it's also the probably the greatest prog. Uh, yeah. Thing. And after that, I would say. It sounds like you got rats or something. I got toads rats, no. <laughs> Rat is an 80s band. But uh, yeah. after that, I would probably say 90s purely because of Primus. I'm just going to say that <laughs> I'm highly biased on that. I can't think of it for a second. Was there anything from the 90s that was like really like. Mm hmm. It's gotta be something. Man, I can't... Like, don't, like I, I guess Green Day, but not a, I'm not a huge fucking... I don't like Green Day. <laughs> I can only like, like, Dookie and American Idiot, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Green Day boy. Yeah. Yeah, but... Hey, uh, Marilyn, Marilyn Manson was in the 90s, right? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yeah, Marilyn Manson, though. Yeah. Yeah, but I would say probably pretty much purely because of Primus and yeah, that's pretty much it. And <laughs> after that, I would say eighties. Well, yeah, okay. I would say eighties because a lot of good metal. Mm -hmm. um, though here's something about the eighties. This is the reason I have this grudge towards it. That it seems like every like here's a fun game to play. Try to find a single good musician that started in the early 70s or late 60s that didn't become worse in the, in the 80s. It's like, it was a crazy, like, curse. Like, fucking... I, every single band made their shittiest albums in the 80s because, like, they discovered the weird baby-sounding sitcom synth that sounds like... garbage. Well... Like, The Clash, they started in 77, basically. Well, yeah, punk bands... Or, like, as I said, things that started in the late 70s, oh. they weren't affected because they were, I don't know, that's when they... Yeah, but The Clash, they did uh, try out a lot of, like, the synth stuff in Sandinista, and they did pretty good. Yeah. And also in Combat Rock, too. Yes. I guess, yeah, I really do like some of the synth things they did. There are definitely exceptions, but yeah. I just... Oof, the 80s. Mm. That's that, that would honestly be when I... 
that that is what I would say is when like the weird like pop attitude started. Oh yeah, like... yeah, definitely. Like the whole pop thing we got today, that's when it started. Yeah, and yeah. After that, I would say 2010s because the 2010s is actually when you delve into it, it's like it's actually not that bad because like there are bands like Caravan Palace. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here, uh, Blues Palace. Uh, let's see her. Uh, d- ding- Dingle Dang? No, but... Uh, <laughs> Dingle Dang? Yeah, but uh, Plastic Beach was released in 2010. Also fucking Professor Elemental. I love him. I love listening to him. I would highly recommend listening to Professor Elemental. <laughs> oh yeah, and after that, it would be 2000s. I... I don't like 2000s. Yeah. I just... Ugh. I, it's what I grew up with, that's probably why I hate it. <laughs> no. Okay. So yeah, that was a sick, sick, sick music time. Yes. With crack. Ah, oh, god. With crackle do and the kumbu. Yes. Oh god, it keeps attaching. That's oh, what we Jesus. Think. That's what we think Flash does when you have several monitors. It just detaches that thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. I fucking hate when it detaches tool thing. Yeah. That's another reason why I'm not using Flash anymore. You, you, because there's so many little things in yeah. Flash that just get so fucking irritating after a while. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so anyway, what else could we talk about? Huh. How about video games? Yeah. What not hot brand new video games are coming out? Okay, so uh, Sonic Mania, the game is not Sonic game. Mm, yes. Let's see if this one actually doesn't fuck up. I definitely think it will it will fuck up less than fucking Project Sonic 2017, where the trailer was there were like a 10 second thing, where it was just like a like a pre-rendered CG thing, and I was like, oh no, they're doing it again. <laughs> so I remember fucking when we used to be back in the days of the Pixel B- B- Blast Toys? Oh yeah, Pixel Blast Toys. I was part of that. Yep. Not a huge part, but I was I was there. Yes. I was there, I saw it all. Oh. <laughs> but yes, uh, we actually did a stream about fucking how how excite bikes we all were about the Sonic Booms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I honestly found the Sonic Boom was going to be pretty good. Yeah, I, me too. I was actually, I thought that, yes, this could actually be okay. Yeah. And then they fucked it up. Yeah. I heard the show is really good. I watched some of it. It's pretty good. It, it's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sponge physics, holy heck! Okay. <laughs> Sponge physics. That's that's the show. That's the new show name. Okay. <laughs> Sponge physics. Okay, but um. Yeah. You want to be a good anime? You gotta get some good fucking Sponge f- physics. Otherwise, Dude, you're fucking, not gonna be anyway. Animated survival kit. Rename it to fucking Sponge physics. The, <laughs> the game. I don't care if it's not a game. There's no like... fucking crackle do here. He knows what he's doing. Sponge physics. Sponge physics. Sponge physics. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> By the way, yes. Did I? Did you see the thing I drew during the debates? I did not. I will show it to you. This oh is completely. Boy. This is completely off topic for the show, but I just want to show cool this thing. I'll put it on screen. Okay. Oh boy, it's that folder. Oh, holy shit! You keep. I am. Uh, hey, let's do it in 2012. How let's not do it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that boy. Yep. 2012. Me sure is neat. Oh, by the way, that Monty Python poster is still up. Oh, yeah. That's the only You're thing You're gonna have to show this on screen now, by the way. Yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I'm, I'm actually really happy that I have, like, old screenshots from this. It's really cool mm. to look back on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and all this has to be on screen, uh, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> For those of you, we're just looking through uh, his 2012 folder. This is the oldest screenshot I have. Like, holy shit, this is old. This wow. is like, look at this. This is April 2012. Holy. Poop. Look at that Skype symbol. Oh man. Oh, this is old. Okay. But anyway. I'll, I'll just show you. Okay. <laughs> now compared to what you do now, holy poop. Yes. Okay. Why is the funny? Why did I draw it? Nine. Oh yeah, there's this. <laughs> is that a Haram boy? No. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> teaching Nate to me at that time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop this ego trip as soon as I can find the thing. Um, <laughs> God, where the 
fuck is it? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. This was me watching debates. Have fun, you was Sweden land. Yeah, I'm in Sweden land. <laughs> Whatever. You gotta, you, okay, you people in America, you gotta understand. For us Europeans, this whole debate thing, it's, it's the, it's an amazing fucking reality show. It is. It is. Okay. It's so much fun to watch. <laughs> Oh my god. It's and beautiful. talk about it and all that. We can, we have no idea what the hell you guys are doing. Something is going on. We can't imagine. It's yeah. something's going on. Yeah. Well, like, though, if, if it's, it's something's going on. Eh? If Trump advocates sponge physics, I, I'm sorry, but I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, can, if can advocate sponge physics, you know he's a good president. Yeah. <laughs> I love that meme where it's like it's Bernie Sanders and it's like, but every American should be entitled to a B movie Blu-ray size DVD <laughs> combo pack. <laughs> that would be a good campaign. <laughs> so this is life now. This is life. Yes. This is this different. is how it is to live in the Sweden lands. Yep. Being friends with this fucking dork. It's all just sponge physics. <laughs> <No. laughs> it's all just sponge physics. <clears throat> ah. Oh god. God, how long have we been best pals? Fucking... I remember you came to the, uh, to the like, school in like... Yeah, let's recap on our friendship! Okay, I remember how it started. 2009, I think, okay? You came to the school because your last school was shit and yes. a bunch of people were fucking bullying you. Yes, was... people were being at me because I had ADD. Yes. It was a, it was a bitchy school. Yes, so it was he, not fun. Yes, he came to came to the, our school, and he was like, "Yo, it's me, Kumbo." And let me just tell you, Kumbo was a bit of a different person because he, you weren't medicated yet, right? Yes, I still had ADD. I was not medicated. Oh boy, I was a different boy. Yeah. So at first, I was kind of like, "Who's this? Who's this boy?" And I was who's this fucking freak? Yeah, I was so <laughs> yeah, I was a little weirded out by you at first, but then I remember I remember the exact moment. I remember we had we had one time. We went to town, and we fucking, we went to game, and you were gonna buy Left 4 Dead 2, and I fucking, <laughs> and that was back when the game, like, game things still give a fuck about the age limits, mm -hmm. so we had to do a fake fucking note where it was like, my brother broke his leg so he can't come and play, the, uh, buy the game. Yeah. <laughs> and we also, also, we made extra short to make sure we had no idea what the hell we were buying. We intentionally but mistranslated it. <laughs> Yeah, mistranslated the fucking name. Yeah, to, to be like, yeah, we really, do. yeah, and somehow it worked. And but yes. then you were short, like there was like a fucking movie scene where you're like, oh shit, dude, I'm short to this much. And I was like, don't worry about it. And I gave you a, a little bit of money. You're like, wow, that's and now cool. we're best pals. Oh god, whatever. he's touching me. I'm scared. I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and, yeah, and that happened, and then. I think you bought the Home Alone collection. I don't remember. No. Oh yeah, for you, yeah, did that. Oh yeah. I don't know. It was a weird thing. I bought Tekken Five. I realized that wasn't as fun as it was when I first played. But yeah, this is where we became but buttos. Yes. Yes. By buying shit for sure. Yes. But Money. also because we were both into video games. Money can buy. No. Okay, but yeah, we were into that. I I I have distinct memory of me and you going over to uh, that one friend's house and yes. you showed us the first Bioshock 2 trailer when it was first gonna come oh, out yeah. <laughs> and it was fucking gory as shit and I was like what the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh those were the days yes oh. <laughs> god that was back when back holy shit was that long ago since Bioshock 2 yeah I think it came out like uh, oh yeah you yeah, have it right here <laughs> I, I can't install it on my computer though, this is dumb. Uh, oh. 2010. Okay. Oh, it's got a shiny cover, it's got yes. weird shiny parts. You know, a lot of people say that, like Bioshock 2 is a bad game. I disagree, I think, it was, I think it's really fucking good actually. Yeah. A lot of people now are saying that Bioshock Infinite is like a shitty game and it's like the It's shit. not! I highly disagree. As a matter of fact, I would say that Bioshock Infinite is the only one I really love. Like, I think. Bioshock 1 was good, but I personally didn't enjoy it, but Bioshock Infinite is just... Just the thing with people like saying like, oh, this is shit now, it's like, I don't get it. Yeah, it... Like, people, it just makes, oh, it's cool to not like this thing now. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like, 
yeah it all just goes in cycles yeah like and and like i love how people are still like unpopular opinion here it's like no it isn't there's no. so many people mm. <laughs> i don't know i don't know okay yeah by track infinite more like i don't know I, it's like fast. I pre-ordered that game. It was the first game I ever pre-ordered, I, and it was worth it because it was. Really I fucking, cool. I kind of wish I did. <laughs> Cause I got some, I got the fucking concept art book. Yeah, it's good. Yes. Do I don't? Yeah, I wish I would have pre-ordered at that time. Though I didn't have a good enough computer to run or consoles. Was, yeah. yeah. I bought it for the three sixty boy. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. Yes. There was also a time where I, where we uh, were close to, well, I felt that we were close to just not being friends anymore. Yeah, there was a time when shit was not good. <laughs> no, because you kept on being like, yeah, whenever I, was... I said something, I was trying to introduce something that I really liked to love, oh. he would just be like in his fucking dumb game. Yeah, I was very, <laughs> there was a time where I was like, I was just fucking, I was not a, I was very big contrarian about shit. Like that, and um, I, I was very, very contrarian. Okay. Yeah, but I was kind of, I was kind of a bitch. I was yeah. Okay. Also, how uh, you always talk shit about my art. Yeah. Which, was, to be fair, that it was, was the, no, that was mean. I don't. Yeah, to, but yeah, but sure, it was crap. Though. Yeah, but it was it was just mean, <laughs> just like the shit I said about it. I don't know. I, I, was like, it, I gotta admit, it did make me want to try harder. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Oh god. Uh, yeah, I actually really like your style. You know, I'll say it because I I remember a few years ago, like, you know that thing that always happens with uh, with artists where like you you take you get so many influences that like you start to form your own style after a while it's like mm -hmm. it becomes like it, i think your style is not fully realized because before i you used to be able to like pick out what part of it was like inspired by what for example i remember you for a while you did a lot of gorillas like stuff oh, yeah i was really fucking influenced by uh, jamie hewlett yeah and sometimes uh, i had and it was a big time where i was really influenced by rob zombie's art you yeah. can tell yeah and it was, it was very like yeah, it was pretty much that style, but now you fucking blend everything together to a point where it's, it's your style now. You kind did. of. It's your style. Okay. I don't know, I think my my style is just a big old mix of Jamie Hewlett, uh, Rob Zombie, and Sean Carey. Yeah. It's good. I it's like just, it. just uh, I guess the best way to describe it is like good old cartoony punk style. Yeah. Which is basically, you know, the shit that I enjoy and, you know, enjoy drawing then. Yeah. It's good stuff. Because the thing is about being an artist, you gotta realize that nothing's original anymore. Yep. It's like you can't be a hundred percent original. You just gotta fucking yep make something, make it look good, and but at know. a point you do get your own style. Which yes, you have. exactly. Just like you got, I feel like you got your own style. Yeah, I've, I've kind of realized that recently. Yeah. It's not, it's I, not, like I remember the time when you, good. I remember the time where you were really like draw a lot of Simpson style. Stuff. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, I was very inspired by that. And like yeah, it, it was very blatant. Do you still have those comics? You mean the cats? The cats. I have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to read them live on the show? It's He's all like... in Swedish though. But... I you know, fuck, we gotta show those things some fucking time. Might as well do it now. Okay, I have one. I fucking. Don't ask me what's right there. Okay. Keep it close. Okay, let me just show the cover. Okay. It's... This is awful. Just gonna run this. Okay. It's gonna... I'm not sure if you, any of you can see that, but... Uh, yeah, it's very shittily drawn ca cat characters with very weird proportions. It was in 2008. Oh my. That... This sink right here is <laughs> fucking nonsense. Bam. There you go. You can look, look through it. Oh yeah, I think that's the final page though. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Wait. Dare. I don't know what this is. Oh god, I hate... Oh boy. Oh god. Although, although I gotta say, like, I was a lot worse at this time. I was. Yeah. I was. <laughs> oh god, this... This was... This was a thing. 
I was not very good at planning my- <laughs> Jesus Christ, I had a fucking guide on how to draw my generic- <laughs> yeah, I have a guide on how to draw my shitty can see, generic- Can you see? Hold on, I have a guide on how to draw my shitty generic character. It's a cat, he's got glasses. Oh, by the way, his name is C Cooling. N not- not as- oh wait, I just realized that's a natural word. No, his name was like- it would be the equivalent of going Cooley. He's cool. It's still Cooley. He wears sunglasses. That's his character thing. And he's cool. Oh yeah, and every single thing was just me making references and like, fucking just... It was, it's, every character was basically just me, slightly tweaked. I don't know, I tried to write a, make a fucking comic thing, also. Yeah. That was awful. I didn't do as much as you have done. Yeah. Like, this is just one of many, right? Yeah, I have... Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's some the shit. Wait, I actually remember. This is fucked up. I actually remember the month I started doing that the cat's thing. I started doing that in November 2006. Dang. Yeah. Good God. That was probably in eight. Man, I remember times where you were really into Simpsons. Yeah. My gosh almighty. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think I'm. Don't, don't then, I was, I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna move on to another thing, just to, just to make it interesting. Mm -hmm. This one. I don't know, maybe people are getting tired of the sponge physics. Yeah. Okay. This is... This is Eyes! Yeah. I spent way too much time <laughs> shaking his body with flash, I don't know. Okay. He's so shiny. By the way, he looks pretty freaky when compared to the other Sponge Factory workers because this. Let me just let me just show you this. This is how they're supposed to look. Oh like. my god, that's how they're supposed to look like. They don't look like Patrick in a way. Yeah, they're supposed to be. Oh yeah, this fucking part where he's like, it's gonna be between pinhead and idiots. <laughs> Poor Corey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god. Okay, it's lagging. Holy heck. He's looking freaky. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back and add backgrounds to shit I haven't yet. Okay. Correct. I'm to a fuck. We only have a few minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eh. So, yeah. Old art. It was old art. Old times. Yes. Eh. <laughs> but to be fair, you know, we all... I mean, we've all been young and fucking cringy. Yep. Everyone's had that cringe, like, the part we all find cringy in a way. Yep. But even if you try to like be edgy or whatever, or just be a like try to be a big old goof, yeah. When you're a little twelve year old, tell you I can't talk. When you're a little twelve, you're a little twat. Yeah. I mean, we all been there. Yeah. But you know, you just gotta think about, hey, I'm not that anymore. I am totally that though, so... <laughs> <laughs> you still, you secretly, you still make those cat comics. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's not good. I actually started writing a script for a fucking movie. <laughs> a movie about those cat things. Oh yeah, you did. Yes, I did. I think I remember that. Yeah, no, no, that was before all that. Oh. Oh god. It's not good. Yeah, I, I was really, I used to be really into fucking Donald Duck comics. Oh yeah! Yeah. And you know what, they're, they're pretty fucking good, I'll go and say that. They are, they are. Yeah. yeah. In case you didn't know, here in Scandinavia's, Donald Duck comics are actually kind of like a big thing. Yeah. For that, some reason. It's weird, that, that was kind of a thing that was like a thing in the like, a long time ago in the US where like it kind of faded out. Over here it's like, it's kind of a national thing because oh, like, yeah. The uh, the actual comics are like done in Sweden and like in mm. Denmark. Should they're like, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm just saying, I'm gonna go and get some shit that would probably make you nostalgic. Really? I still have all the fucking old sketchbooks that I did in sixth grade. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm going to get oh. Go back in time! Oh my god. Yeah. Holy shit! Why is there an old girl? Wait, dude, we gotta bring the camera over to this. this okay, is... you wanna grab the camera? I'll grab the camera. <laughs> Come here. 
Do you see? Do you see on this the thing? This is fucking horrible. Oh. Uh, uh, can you see on the thing? You just trapped. This is fucking horrible. Oh boy. Okay, so just sit sit there with the camera and I'll go get some shit. Oh yeah. I'll s I'm oh a camera boy. God. This is so cool. I st this is something I'm happy to still have. It's fucking like a game thing for another 2010. Are you for real? Yeah. Well, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, this one. Pre-ordered Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh my god. <laughs> see ya. You got back in time. Oh, they're all shit here. Oh yeah, the fucking trading in prices. Mmm, man. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's find all the things. Oh god. This is one of the first ones from 2008. Oh, you oh my goodness gracious. It's not that good. I hope I hope the camera picked that up. Yeah. Okay. Who's this thing? Oh my god, I remember that, I think. On the back it says herpoderm. <laughs> it says herpoderm. <laughs> Can you see? I just I this is this is not good, okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I you know I can't believe it because I did a pillow thing yeah. that had an awesome face on it and a bunch of ASDF shit. Oh my god, do I have the meme drawing still? The huge meme thing. Oh out. my god! <laughs> and it was like in 7th grade, right? Yeah, I think. Also, but also don't, don't know, we, me and one been friends since like 5th fucking grade. Yep. And look at, and look at where it's brought us. <laughs> I shouldn't have this. What, dude? That's your old. Is that is that for like ninth, eighth grade, right? I shouldn't have this. That's our math book. That's an old math book. Ah, oh, God, math! Fucking get it away! I literally got PTSD in like five minutes. Oh God, God, I remember. Oh, Fuck's God. sakes! Ew! How dare you? You triggered me. Oh, God. Is, is the camera good enough to make to, so you can hear like? Yeah. Goody. Here's a Totoro on weed, guys. More like Tokoro. Ah! My life is this. Oh, here's where the good shit is. <laughs> do you remember that class we took? I do. I was actually. Yeah. We had to do like a storyboard type thing. Yeah. And I did it, and it was, it's not very good. It's for the cats. Let's see what's the first story point. They all pack to go move. Okay. I don't. This is shit. This is something in this about a raccoon. Yeah, it was a weird raccoon thing. Really I like raccoons. raccoons. <laughs> Is that a Jack Nixon face? I don't think Wait, was this when you tried to do like Rob Zombie stuff? Nope. It looks was, like it. It was far before that. I don't know. Okay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Is that Link on Wii? Dude. <laughs> Link on Wii, dude. 420. Epic. Okay. This Fucking wait, nature, y'all. This is epic, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, epic. There's some epic. Lee Epic Weed. Oh my god, that is your old computer. So fucking That's tiny it's so tiny. It's so tiny. It's such a tiny little computer. It's the guy. Do you remember where this is from? I do not. So basically, this is insane. Me, Kumbal, and a guy we used to know called Muhammad. <laughs> yeah, Muhammad! We once had to do a new show thing. Well, we oh. had to do a presentation. Oh. And we did a new show thing on gaming. And we're like, the Nintendo 3DS is coming out. So we did this cheesy thing where we printed out this black platform. We're like, oh, I fought. I remember I did a horrible, horrible, horrible top 10 list of uh, Super, Super Nintendo games. Oh, yeah. I remember he his reading was so bad. We were just like, oh, uh, oh my god. It was so. I can't believe I put Doom on number one. Oh. I was a stupid little boy. I, I, at the time, I, I, I haven't even played that much Super Nintendo, I don't even know what I fucking did. Yeah. I was actually originally gonna rip off the fucking Screw Attacks top 10. <laughs> I was a stupid fucking boy, I was a stupid little boy. Oh, um. I see a Bart. Bart. 
More school books! I I should be arrested. Yeah, that's for ninth grade. Yeah. I should just be arrested. Like you haven't no one's talked like Technically they should like give you like a fine. Yep. Like you have to pay that back, I'm but I like, fine for that. No 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 no. And here's the full story. Of that thing. Oh boy. On, you need to bring it up. Oh yeah shit. Uh, yeah. Oh, Dead Rising 2 for some reason. Oh yeah. Man, I remember when I bought that game. Yeah. Fuck me, I I you had a blast playing that. Yeah. That was a little foil. Yeah. Okay, Swiss, the way I got that, that was like, oh my god, this is much better. Yeah. Oh, this bun. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about how you technically are the one who introduced me to uh, uh, Phantom Savage? How? Uh, because you fucking like, uh, introduced me to Dead Rising one time. Oh yeah. And that brought me to find his Let's Play of Dead Rising. Huh. I remember you showing me your shit. Yeah. That's, that's fucking weird. Yeah. Weird, yeah, right? Yes. Anyway, I found the savages of this YouTuber that I was really fucking into lately, but he doesn't make a lot of videos anymore. It's Home Alone. Look at, look at McCall Culkin. Zoom's on his face. Look at his face. Look at his little face. He's gonna get, he's gonna get touched. Oh yeah, of course I have VHS copy of Demon. <laughs> you do! You, you actually do. I have not seen this before. I we're pretty much fucking done. <laughs> Bye, you fucking big idiots. Run with sponge physics. Fucking Don't touch me. I gotta touch you how much I want! Bob head. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I wanna touch it. Okay, he's gonna touch it. Fuck it, stop then. He's a person, okay? <laughs> Wait, well, like Sue. God, make an actual anthem. Like, get ready for the national anthem.